Hello everyone. Do you like high-end packaging? Because if you do, you are in for a treat today. We went to John Lewis on the weekend. My husband wanted to buy some fragrance. He'd had one of the um, varieties in this brand a few years ago and he wanted to, well he was going to go and get the same one but it was quite an experience shopping, trying on all the different fragrances and when they were all packaged up in this bag it reminded me of the film Love Actually. Do you know the bit in the film when one of the characters is buying a gift for his mistress and he's trying to be secretive at the counter um, and he sort of quickly sort of says, yeah, yeah, I'll take that one, thank you, package it. And Rowan Atkinson is the uh, shop assistant behind the counter and he makes this big event of packing when <laughs> the guy wants to just get out of there quickly because his wife is in the shop, he doesn't want her seeing what he is buying. And Rowan Atkinson um, takes a very long time packing and he goes into drawers, pulls out rose petals and fragrances. And it was just like that anyway in John Lewis. I thought to myself, you guys would love this packaging. So I'm going to do a video today, a little bit more of a close up, looking at the quality of all the packaging. So let's get into it. Let's look a little bit closer at this bag. I love this braided handle, by the way. But yeah, very high quality paper with this sort of uh, parchment look, would you call it? I think you'd call it parchment. And then this raised logo for the brand Creed and this crown and fleur de lis above it the words creed with I guess they look like swords and the date 1760 I've described the handle before but it is this most gorgeous gold soft braided material and obviously one on each side but how lovely was it to walk out of the shop with this in our hands I'll just spin it around so you can see all the way around now we have opened it up since it was packaged in John Lewis and there was a little seal at the top which we have opened so um, yes it's not entirely as it was when we bought it but it's nevertheless lovely so let's lay the bag on its side so you can see inside well there is a lot of this tissue paper in here which I will get out in a second it's quite crackly and as she was putting several leaves of this paper in the bag she was spraying this fragrance all over it so I have no doubt that this bag smells gorgeous as you know I can't smell it but pretty sure because there was a lot of fragrance getting sprayed all over the paper so yeah a few sheets of this were put in as sort of padding now this is a I would say an expensive fragrance and uh, you would expect nice packaging expensive packaging but the level of detail is really quite staggering. I am hoping that this shows up on the camera, but 
this tissue paper has a repeat of the Creed logo all over it, this time in white. So, many, many Creed logos. I've got a feeling that the crackling paper, while it sounds quite nice, might be a little overpowering for the microphone. So, not going to scrunch it up or do anything like that. I just wanted you to see the designs. Now, this was a promotional magazine. I don't know if you call it a magazine. Promotional literature. And it's absolutely exquisite. I think this deserves a separate video. While my husband was going through all the various fragrances on little sticks with the shop assistant, I saw this on the side. I picked it up and had a flick through and it is simply stunning artwork design and um, yeah, very aspirational, I guess. But look, the beautiful artwork inside. And yeah, uh, it's going to be a really good read, I think. But it's almost as though I don't want to rush it while I'm going to be talking about the packaging in this video. Um, but yeah, look, I mean, I could be tempted to put this inside a picture frame. It's so beautiful. Um, yeah, really. Do a little quick flick through now, but let me know in the comments if you would like a slower look around this magazine. And, ah, yes, I remember now, we, my husband had these little uh, paper, little, I don't know what you call them, but they spray the fragrance, different ones, so you can carry it around rather than spraying multiple fragrances on yourself. But, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I think that was the fragrance my husband had a few years ago, Aventus. Um, they've all got gorgeous names, of course. Uh, they do ladies and men's fragrances. But look at these beautiful, beautiful photography. I mean, if I hadn't, well, I don't smell the fragrance, but this would really, really entice me, just looking at this magazine. So yeah, if you want me to uh, read some of this, go through it in more depth, we can certainly do that. Um, and there is in here as well a little introduction to the House of Creed. Um, I'll just read a little bit to you now. Uh, it says, the House of Creed is an authentic perfume house dedicated to the creation of highly original fragrances made from exquisite ingredients. Well, this looks quite a story here. Uh, the legend of the brand begins in 1760 when a pair of scented leather gloves was delivered to King George III by a new London tailoring company founded by James Henry Creed in the same year as the young king's accession. The House of Creed has been creating luxury goods for a discerning clientele for more than 260 years. It goes on, but I'm not going to read too much of this now. 
we are going to have a little look at the actual fragrance set that my husband eventually decided on. Um, again, it was wrapped so much neater than as you are seeing it now. And these gorgeous stickers to help secure all the packaging were used, but my husband was quite keen to let everybody have a little look when we got home, so it's been disturbed. But trust me, it was wrapped very, very neatly. Love these. Ooh, they've nice raised. They do feel luxurious and they're just stickers. Some more of this uh, tissue paper. Um, yeah, so look at this beautiful box and well it just goes so beautifully with the bag, the carrier bag. Yeah, my husband went to the counter thinking he was going to have another bottle of the fragrance he had chosen previously. But when the sales assistant started um, showing him all the alternatives and the fact that these fragrances can be layered so that you can create your own fragrance, well, he got quite blown away and in the end decided on a set. So there's a few different fragrances in here which you can wear individually or layer up which I've never heard of that before. Normally if you layer fragrances they kind of compete but yeah apparently that is something with this brand that is a little different. So this is the outer cardboard sleeve and yeah, this, uh, the fleur de lis and the crown and the word creed in gold. And then we've got this silver horse, which I noticed in the magazine we just looked at. So that's obviously part of the brand as well. I'll just hold it a bit closer. Hopefully you can pick out the detail. And then let's take this sleeve off. It is... I've always enjoyed certain products that you buy. The, the unwrapping can be either very, very frustrating when you're faced with plastic ties and horrible packaging and the products like Apple uh, when it's just such a slick process and this is the same everything you touch everything you look at is exquisite and makes me want to squeal in excitement <laughs> just absolutely honestly it's such a treat i love the simplicity of this you've got the cover here with multiple little gold and silver and very very decadent looking it looks like something that you would give royalty and then underneath this sublime simple white it's probably an affront to call it cardboard box but it's just so beautiful and one single logo there in the middle, Creed. And uh, if I kind of show you the box, you can see the box. The lid and the base don't quite meet. It's like a little sandwich or a biscuit. And this tempting gold layer just peeking through the middle. 
I know uh, my husband is not going to want to throw out this packaging. I'm not sure what it can be used for, but it is just so beautiful. And I hope you're enjoying the experience too. Let's take the lid off. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, spotless white lid. And here we are everyone, the bottles of fragrance. One, two, three, four, five bottles. All in exactly the same type of bottle, the same colour lid. But the names of the individual fragrance are on the bottles in this white lettering. So, so I'm going to read out the fragrances that are in here. This is obviously fragrance for men, but there was um, a similar gift pack for women's fragrance as well. Although I am guessing they are unisex, um, as I said. I can't really comment on the fragrance because I can't smell it, but yeah. So this first one here is called Aventus Eau de Parfum and there's 10 mils in here and it's made in France. Second bottle is called Green Irish Tweed. Pretty sure that is the one my husband really loved. That's the one he had a few years ago. And this is the one. He went in to buy another bottle of Aventus. Smelled this one and really loved it. And then got blown away by all the others as well. So, yeah. Green Irish Tweed. And then here we have... Silver Mountain Water. Names are just so evocative of gorgeous, cool fragrance, fresh scents. Um, now this one is called Aventus Cologne. So uh, I guess that's similar to this one, maybe. I don't know. I'll have to find out what the difference with that one is. And, right, the final one is, oh, French, I'm not sure if my pronunciation is going to do it justice, but it looks like Mielsim Imperial. Hmm. Okay, so let's have a little look at one of these bottles. Okay, so this is the one, uh, the green Irish tweed. Mm, fairly plain bottle. If you buy the full size fragrances, they do come in these very ornate glass uh, bottles and um, different colour glass. This is very plain compared to those, but the idea is that they are multiples and for travel, so less emphasis on the packaging. Very lovely gold cap, and it literally just pulls off super smooth. Barely any any sound at all. And then an atomizer to spray. I'm not going to do that. It's a complete waste, as I can't smell it anyway. So. Yeah, let my husband enjoy all of the fragrance. But it does look stunning, doesn't it? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful with all of this here. <laughs> I'd be quite happy to put this on a shelf and just look at it. It's so, so lovely. 
I must be a marketer's dream because regardless the fact that I can't smell the fragrance, I am literally in love with this brand because of the beautiful packaging. And I think on the, so on the back here we've got um, just a description as we just saw the spray, five 10ml bottles and the fragrance names again. So we've got Aventus, Green Irish Tweed, Silver Mountain Water, Aventus Cologne and Milseem Imperial. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. hope you have enjoyed looking at this beautiful packaging today. Let me know what you thought of this video and I will look forward to seeing you very soon. Take care everyone.